this world will test you to your very core. It'll knock you down and kick dirt in your face. And in these moments, the universe will be asking you one simple question. How bad do you really want it? How bad? You're going to lose all your money, all your friends, all the people you care about. And when that happens, do you still want it bad enough to keep getting back up and keep moving forward? If you can find your why for doing this and for sticking it out, in spite of all the pain, you can find a way to win. You've got to keep that belief alive. Your belief in why you're doing this. What is it that makes it worth it to you to keep standing up in the face of all these setbacks? If you can keep your belief alive, you can make it. That belief is what will keep you pushing forward. When you believe that there is a way, you will find a way. And if you can't find one, you will make one. Because a person who has a belief in themselves and what they're doing and knows without a shadow of doubt that they deserve what they're fighting for, they won't ever back down. No matter how rough it gets, no matter how many rejections they got to go through, no matter how many people come up against them, they will keep standing and keep showing up to the battle. You're going to have so many moments where you doubt yourself, where you think you can't go on. But I want you to remember, these rough times haven't come to stay. They've come to pass. Not getting what you want can be the most valuable experience of your life. You got to think of each problem as a gift, an opportunity for growth and learning. When you operate in chaos, when everything turns upside down for you, that's where true greatness is forged. These are the moments that define champions. These are the crucibles where the strongest versions of ourselves are shaped. I need you to have the courage to act outwardly on those visions you see inwardly. That dream that you have, that life you want to live. You got to hold on to that idea so tightly that no matter how dark things get around you, you never let it go. You keep it clear and in sight and in focus inside your mind. The path to success isn't easy. It's going to break you down to your absolute lowest, but the difficulty itself is what prepares you and propels you to higher levels of achievement. So when all hope seems lost, when the pain won't stop, when things you never thought would happen do happen, you find a reason to keep going. Because you're a warrior. You don't run from pain. You embrace it. Pain is a part of life. But suffering is a choice. And you choose to push through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you have to decide that you're gonna be tough. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You got to believe in your vision, your dreams, your ideas unquestionably. When you have faith, that faith gives you patience. Patience that things will get better as you move forward over time. But you have to keep moving and keep plugging away. These lessons are the building blocks of your success. Each failure, each rejection is a step closer to your goal. They're not just stumbling blocks, they're stepping stones. They're a step in the staircase in order to go higher. When those terrible things happen to you, you're going to have that negative voice, that internal dialogue telling you you're not good enough. Don't allow that voice to take over you. Engage in a battle with that negative part of yourself. Shut it down and block it out. And block out any other voice that tells you you can't make it. Listen to that voice inside you that says it's possible. It's possible I can do this. I know I have what it takes. I know that where I am right now is not where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. I have so much more to give. I have the power to change everything for me. And I'm not going to stop until I get what I want. Because I deserve it. I deserve a better life. And you can't kind of want that thing. You got to want it with every bit of your heart, every bit of your being. You got to be willing to pour every bit of your energy, effort and focus into it in order to make it happen. It's going to push you harder than anything else ever has. Make a personal declaration to wage war against being average. You have full control over your mind and therefore your life.
It's about taking conscious, determined efforts to reinvent your life and committing wholeheartedly to your goal. When you're committed, you don't care about the odds. You don't care about the facts. You care only about the possibilities for you and your dream. And you gotta go into this knowing that it's not gonna be a smooth journey. There's gonna be sharp ridges you gotta climb over. There's gonna be betrayals and devastation constantly on the way. But if you really want it like you say you do, you'll do whatever the hell it takes to get through it. And if you do get through all the pain, all the trials, all the tears, all the long nights of worry, it will be so worth it. No matter what happens to you in life, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. What do you do when you have been telling yourself you can reach a goal and you lose it every day? What do you do when, you, when you've lost your spirit, you've lost your job, you lost everything, life's been devastating? Once you are defeated in your mind, ladies and gentlemen, it's all over. Your problem is your pain has identified you. Your pain has waking you. You have a choice how you respond to your pain. And some of you in this room, for real, I'm just gonna be honest with you, you're getting wimpy on me. You're getting soft on me. You are not the only person that's been through a divorce, boo. Get over it. You're not the first one, you won't be the last one. You can turn that divorce into something. You're not the first one to lose your promotion and get fired. You're not the first one. You're not the first one they let go of. You won't be the last one. The question is, what you gonna do about it? I know what it is to walk the floor and you don't know how you're gonna make it when people no longer believe in you and you are all you got. And you got to say to yourself, when you fail again and again, they tell you no, sometimes with tears in your eyes, it's possible. When life stagger you, the thing that'll get you up on your knees and get you standing in the center of the ring and find something from somewhere deep down in to keep on slugging and keep on fighting is, it's possible. It's possible. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. When you're facing defeat, disappointment, seem like life has ripped you off and everybody's saying you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. All you need to affirm that in spite of this, it's possible that I can do it. So what makes ET different than everybody else? Every year I just kept going. And I kept going. And I kept going. And I kept saying one day gonna be my day. But you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna quit in the process. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give in. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. The difference is not the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tell someone fortune to stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and if I don't when I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw sh against the wall. Every day I'll, I'll throw more up there and try it again and try it again. And I'll never get comfortable. I don't feel rejected. I try. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. The person that didn't try should feel some type of way. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I tried. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm not whack. You know how much I went through to make that thing happen? And I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. You can't defeat me. I know you just want to get five more minutes of sleep, just five more minutes. And I'm telling you, no, do not. Those five minutes are not worth bowing down to weakness, bowing down to procrastination. Don't do it. Be strong. Be powerful. Get aggressive. Get up and get up now. 
This is where you win. This is the first battle of the day. This victory will establish your mindset for the rest of the day. So do not be weak. Do not sleep in. Do not falter. So easy to put things off. So easy to say, you can do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today, yes or no? Are you going to win, yes or no? Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate and you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself. And by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. The difference between people who talk about it and people who do it is one simple word, application. They hear it, and they don't just hear it, they digest it, and when they digest it, boom, they do something with it. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. Stop making excuses. Stop waiting for somebody to feel sorry for you. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be difficult, but you can do it. I know you don't want to do it. I know you just want to listen to that little voice that comes to you when you hear that alarm go off in the morning or when you're feeling tired or weak or sick of the grind. You want to listen to that voice that tells you it's okay to take the day off. It's okay to back down. It's okay to not try anymore. That voice, the one telling you it's okay to slack off, is the same voice that will keep you stuck where you are. It's the voice of comfort, of staying the same, and it's as tempting as it is dangerous. This voice, it's sneaky. It makes excuses sound reasonable, laziness feel justified, and quitting seem like an option. But it's all a trap. You've got to recognize that voice for what it is, a barrier to your success. It's not your friend or your ally, it's the enemy of your potential. Every time you listen to it, you give away a piece of your progress, a chunk of your dreams. When you hear that little voice start to kick in, shut it down immediately. Do not listen to that little weak voice. That weakness in your head is trying to get you to take the easier route. And that easier route may be easier in the beginning, but it will prove to be longer and more painful than the hard route. And what's the hard route? The hard route's getting up when you know you need to get up. It's studying when you know you should be studying. It's getting to work on time when you need to be working. It's putting in those extra reps when you know you need to stretch yourself to get stronger. You need to cultivate a different voice in your head. The voice of resilience, of determination, of grit. This is the voice that says, get up, even though you're tired. It's the voice that tells you to keep pushing when everything in you wants to stop. 
This is the voice of a champion, and it's the one you need to listen to. Remember, the path to greatness is littered with challenges, but these challenges are not there to stop you. They're there to test you, to make you stronger, to prepare you for what's to come. Every time you overcome a challenge, you grow. You become more than you were before. When you can get to the point where you are willing to do what sucks every day and continue to get stuff done no matter how much you don't feel like doing it, you will change everything in your life for the better. The most successful people in the world are the ones who can go against their feelings and do things that are hard, independent of their feelings toward the mission they set out to complete. I need you to flat out decide what's it gonna be are you going to get up and get things done today? Yes or no? Are you going to study today? Yes or no? Are you going to put in the work to improve yourself today? Yes or no? Stop leaving room for negotiation with your feelings and emotions. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. I need you to separate yourself from your feelings and disregard them. Because when you can take control of them, you will become a disciplined, goal-achieving machine. This is where you transform, where you become unstoppable. It's not just about doing the hard stuff. It's about loving the challenge, embracing the struggle. Your potential is limitless. When you push past what you thought was possible, when you defy your own limitations, that's when you truly start living. You're no longer a slave to your comfort zone. You're a master of your destiny. Every step forward, every task completed, it's a victory. It's a testament to your strength, your willpower, your determination. Turn your ambitions into action. Let every heartbeat, every breath be a reminder of your goals. This is your time, your moment. Push harder, go further, be bolder. You're not just doing this for today. You're setting the stage for tomorrow, for the rest of your life. Every decision, every action is a building block for your future. This isn't just about the goals you achieve, it's about the person you become in the process. As you build this future, your vision becomes clear. Each step, each victory sharpens your focus. Your goals are no longer distant dreams, but achievable realities. With every challenge you overcome, you see your future self more clearly. Discipline is the weapon that destroys mediocrity. Every time you choose to wake up early instead of hitting snooze, every time you pick the salad over the burger, every time you hit the gym, even when you're dead tired, you're striking a blow against weakness. You strengthen your mind every time you do this hard sh and push through it. You armor your mind by becoming gritty. Nobody's gonna hand you life. You gotta do it. If you're gonna make those dreams and goals happen, it's on you to make it happen. And that takes discipline. It means being your own toughest coach, your own most demanding trainer, and not allowing yourself off the hook. You force yourself to do the very best you can every time. You don't get to make excuses. You don't get to back down. You keep moving, keep striving, keep pushing the envelope of what you thought was possible. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to do it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, stop talking about it and start being full committed. Become the person who says, this is going to work. No matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what gets in the way, I am doing this. You've got to be relentless in your pursuit of greatness. Every day is a new round in the ring and you've got to come out swinging. Train your mind to crave progress over comfort, growth over stagnation. Condition yourself to find satisfaction in the grind, to get a thrill from the challenge. The discipline you're building is not just for today or tomorrow or next week, it's for life. You're sculpting a version of yourself that can handle any challenge, overcome any obstacle, achieve any goal. Be the master of your destiny, not the slave of your desires. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, you gotta get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotion. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money, they earn the life, they earn the relationship, they earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions thrive on.
every single day when you wake up, you got two options. So you can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or you can look at that snooze button, kick that clock and get up and go pursue your dreams. You need to walk through the mud and life gods if you ever want to get to the higher ground. The higher ground is where you look in the mirror and you have it set and you run through the work and sweat equity at all. And the end product is something you can travel, a legacy in life, and you put your signature to it. That means something. You're not speaking hollow words. You're a shoes of action. And your problem is, you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong, but by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is gonna happen to you and the best never happens to you. You gotta decide that you're gonna do something and you gotta do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is gonna happen to you. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. So stuff is just you gotta be powerful you wake up take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do it don't make you a bad person but you're gonna forever be average because to be great you got to keep up take full ownership of your time of your mind of your day i still grind i love to grind if you're competing in one of my businesses i'm gonna kick you because i'm gonna out grind you there's some out there who wants what you have who wants the position you are? Who wants the job you have? Who wants the wife that you have? Or the husband? There's someone out there hungry and wants everything you have. So make that a motivation for you. And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mountain. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. And I'm telling you, you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour earlier and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dreaming and start living it. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? How much money do you want to make a year? What do you want to drive? How do you want to live? Not just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. Stop bullshitting yourself. Stop telling yourself all this shit about why you're not winning in life. Excuses sound best to the person who's making them up. Any person who is determined to do something or wants something to be different, they will make it happen. And if you were really tired of the results you were getting, you'd change the things you're doing. Everything around you would change if you change the things around you. If you can change your mind, your ways of thinking, you can change your bank account. You can change your relationships. You can change your environment. You can change your lifestyle. You're not just on the receiving end of whatever life decides to dump on you. No, you're the one making the decisions. You decide every day of your life what you're gonna allow and what results you're gonna get. It's in every single small decision you make. And that's where most people f up. They lose the small battles, the death by a thousand cuts. They miss a workout, and then another. They clock out earlier at work. They stop pushing themselves to learn in class. And before you know it, five years have gone by, and they're more and more miserable and hate their lives. So right now you have a chance to never let that happen. Do not allow yourself to slide down that slope of complacency. You've gotta hold the line on the seemingly insignificant things, watching yourself observing how you're handling yourself. Because the difference between the most successful people in the world and the people who are barely getting by is they have become phenomenal at disciplining themselves on a daily basis. Forcing themselves to do things that are hard and don't come easy. Holding themselves accountable for the actions they're taking and the effort they're putting in. Becoming disciplined means creating and sticking to a set of rules or standards, especially when it's easier not to. It's getting up for that run, even when it's raining outside. Or continuing to work on your project when you'd rather be lounging on the couch watching TV. It's about making commitments to yourself and then following through with them, no matter what. Discipline is often misunderstood 
as a way of restricting freedom, but in reality, it's the exact opposite. It's the key to unlocking your true potential. It frees you from the whims of momentary desires and places you firmly on the path to achieving long-term success and fulfillment. So you do it when you feel like it, and you do it when you don't feel like it. When you get up and feel refreshed and happy, you do the work. When you get up and feel like spit, you do the work. When you get up and it's cold and dark and miserable and everything's going wrong in your life and your bills are overdue, you do the work. You don't allow any room for negotiation when it comes to the execution of the work that needs to be done. It's an automatic process that you make happen every day of your life. No matter how many issues you're having, no matter how you feel, no matter the weather, whatever it takes, you just get it done. A champion doesn't give a sh about how tired they feel, how sore their body is. They rise to the level of the challenge or opposition. They understand that greatness isn't achieved in moments of comfort and ease. But in the times of struggle and perseverance, your mindset is what will separate you from everybody else. You think different. You study different. You work different. Stop having the debate with your lazy side. You know what needs to be done. So cut the crap and get to it. Every time you conquer these tasks, you're not just ticking off a to-do list. You're building a stronger, more disciplined version of yourself. When others are out there partying and having a good time on the weekends, you're grinding away, focusing on yourself and your ambitions. It's about an investment, investing in your future, in your growth, in the person you want to become. Every day spent working on yourself and your goals is a step closer to where you want to be. While the immediate gratification of going out might feel good, the satisfaction of achieving your goals is far more rewarding and lasting. So you got to stay focused on your path and don't allow anything to pull you off course. You've got to start small. Pick one area of your life that you want to improve and focus on that. It could be anything from diet and exercise to studying or work habits. Set clear, achievable goals and then break them down into daily tasks. Every day, no matter what, make sure you complete these things. Discipline is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Over time, what once felt like a monumental effort will become second nature. You'll notice that tough or annoying choices start to feel good. Choosing to get up early, working hard on a tough task, or picking healthy foods, these things start to feel like they make you stronger, not like chores you have to do. You begin to enjoy these challenges, understanding that every choice is helping you become more disciplined you'll start to notice changes, not just in the specific area you're focusing on, but in all aspects of your life. Your newfound discipline will spill over, creating a positive domino effect that can lead to incredible transformation. It's the disciplined ones who achieve true freedom in life. When you're disciplined, you gain control over your time and choices. Instead of being at the mercy of whims or fleeting desires, you make deliberate decisions that align with your long-term objectives. It's that kind of focus and self-control that leads to real accomplishment and fulfillment. It frees you from the chaos of an unstructured life. It helps you manage your time and energy effectively, allowing you to focus on what's truly important. We are discipline. You're not constantly reacting to life's distractions but proactively building the future you want. It's not about winning or losing. It's about the whole process. And you get so caught up in the outcomes of everything you do that you forget what it's all about. It is practicing. It is eating right. It is training. It is putting in more reps than everyone else. It is grinding longer and getting up earlier than your competitors. Win or lose. You give every single day everything you have. You leave nothing on the table. It is that process that shapes you and forms you into a beast. And why so many of you lose is because you think grinding is what you do when the lights are on and it's game time. You think it's what you do when the sun comes up and everyone's eyes are on you. That's not the real grind. The real grind is what you do when nobody's watching, when nobody sees you, when you're running those extra miles, when you're doing those extra reps, when you're pushing yourself to do more than anybody expects of you. It is that level of effort that forms your greatness. When you can force yourself to do sh that sucks every day of your life, you build mental toughness. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you get up. 
When you have a deadline for a project to be done, you make sure you get it done. When you know you gotta study, you start studying. That's how you callous your mind. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be hard, but at the end of all your suffering is the life you want. Embrace the suffering. No one's coming to help you. It's you against you, period. The water's too cold, the sun's too hot. I'm getting up too early. Why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. You gotta start training your mind to think about how the f can get through this. Not giving yourself a way out. Creating a wall around all the f***ing out in your mind. So then your mind knows this is not gonna give himself a way out of here. Your new norm becomes getting up every damn morning at four, five, six o'clock, and you suffer. You allow that to become your new lifestyle. Most people try to get away from that. They want the comfort, but you gotta separate yourself from the pack. You have to tell your brain, this is your new life. This is who you are. Your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. When you do this consistently and it becomes your mentality, the sh that used to be hard becomes easy. You must retrain your mind to think differently when you're in hell. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna strengthen my mind and it's gonna lead to rare achievements. So bring it. When you get to that point, that's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use the time you have right now to strengthen your brain. Push yourself to do hard sh Come out the other side of that challenge as a beast. You gotta start thinking to yourself, I'm the grittiest mother in the world, and I don't need sh to get this done. All I need is the ability to grind my ass off. Greatness is not something that you have to meet once. It's something that you gotta meet thousands of times in your life. But you don't reach it if you're not continuously in constant pursuit of greatness. Kobe Bryant never sat there and bragged about how many championships he won. No, he was always up at three o'clock in the morning, practicing every day. Why do you think he was so great? It's not just genetics or talent, it's his ability to force himself to execute, no matter what's going on. So right now, this is the time to work. You better take the short time you have now and be the best that you can be. No more waiting, no more procrastinating, no more excuses. We're gonna work! Because when you put in the work, you always get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free no matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. There are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. And that's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else. I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. You walk out of this room, you owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said I'm going to ride. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day to become a victor and not a victim. Why? Because I owe it to myself. Can't nobody stop me but me. There comes a moment 
in all of our lives where we either back down and tell ourselves and others around us that we can't do it. We don't have the skills. We don't have the knowledge. We don't have the money. We don't have the resources. And we go back to doing what we've been doing and settle for mediocrity, living below our potential. Or there's the other option. You decide within yourself that you are sick and tired of living the way you've been living. You stand up within yourself and make a full commitment. You're gonna fully commit to your dreams, to your goals, to your vision of the future. But I say to you, whatever it is you want to demonstrate in your life experience, it's on you. That as you look out where you want to go, it's on you to decide to move you from there. That a lot of us don't do any more than what we're now doing because we're living within the context of the conversations or the opinions or the expectations that people have of us. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I can live my dream. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how you're going to make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, I'm going to make it happen. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. See, a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. A lot of people have given up. A lot of people don't even want and ask life for anything because they don't believe they can have it. No, don't allow those negative thoughts to take over your mind. When all hell is breaking loose in your life, you got to tell yourself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. When you understand and accept this, then nothing or no one can deny you greatness. The power to succeed or fail is yours and no one can take that away from you. See, when you acknowledge that, hey, it's me, I'm the one, I've got to do this. I'm the one that's going to turn this around. So I got some roadblocks here. It's not easy for me. But ultimately, I know that these roadblocks, these obstacles, this opposition won't stop me from doing what I want to do. It can temporarily cripple me or make it inconvenient. But it won't stop me. It will not determine my reality. And yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be rough. Yes, it's going to take every bit of your energy and push you harder than you ever thought possible. But if your reason for doing this is strong enough, you can make it through this. Because I know every single one of you is tougher than whatever problems you face. They're not bigger than you. They're not tougher than you. And as you overcome each and every one of these challenges, you won't be worn down by them. No, they will sharpen you into a stronger, more resilient weapon to take on any mission that stands in your way of victory. I want you to look in the mirror every damn day and say, I am proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then I'll do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy, and I don't think any of us do. Going around trying to find a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful or won't be too much of a hassle. No. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to affirm to yourself, I can make it. Every day, every moment you push forward, you're saying to the world and to yourself, it's possible. In spite of rejection, in spite of failure, you keep moving because you know that this moment, this day, could be the turning point. When negative voices try to drag you down, you fight back. You don't just ignore those voices, you confront them. You declare them liars because you know your worth, your capabilities, your resilience. You gotta shut down every voice that says you can't. That's about not just ignoring negativity, but actively rejecting it. It's a conscious decision to not let those toxic thoughts take root in your mind. I need you to talk back to those voices and tell them, you're spewing lies. You're wrong about me. I am stronger than this. I am tougher than this. I will overcome this. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. You got to say yes to your life. Yes. Yes to my dreams. 
Yes to me. I can make it. It doesn't matter how many failures I've made. It doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. It doesn't matter about my defeats. It doesn't matter about what I've done. As long as I believe and hold the vision firmly in my mind, I can bring it into reality. Sometimes life will happen to you and you won't have time to say no. You won't have time to think that you can't do it. The only time you will have is to act, to take the leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that if it's going to happen, it's up to them. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry and they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. Never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, and all that sh that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. You see me in my Rolls Royce, private planes, rooftop hotel, five, six star lifestyle. I've worked my ass off to have it. And you can keep all your little slick comments to yourself. Cause guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Shut the noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. Miss you so what? Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. You've got to focus on you. You've got to convince yourself every day, selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it, to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, weak about it, or I can say it's okay. If it becomes hard, then do it hard. But then he must just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Make yourself come up with something. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support. 
Feel lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. Don't even use the word commit. Don't even think about the word discipline. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Develop good habits that will carry you through to having a very successful life. There are two types of people in the world. There are those who fight the uncomfortable and those who can face the uncomfortable. What makes you comfortable can ruin you. Or what makes you uncomfortable is the only way to grow. Nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself. Yes, we're tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is not what it looks like. I got to squeeze. And then once we get past that place, we become comfortable with being uncomfortable. We no longer thrive to be in the comfort zone. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your limits are non-existent. You're either moving forward or standing still. The choice is yours. Hesitation allows the moment to pass, the opportunity to be lost, the enemy to get the upper hand. Hesitation defeats us, so we must defeat it. To win, all you have to do is overcome that moment, the waiting. And to do that, all you have to do is go, move, take the action, get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step forward, do not wait, go forward and win. I will make every day, every minute, every second, I will make it all count. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. I want to win so bad, my hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the sh** out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop, you're doing too much, your appetite is too big. I can't help myself, I want to win. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you just gonna leave your city to go seek a dream and a, seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely, absolutely. Do what you have to do. You gotta grind and hustle and get out of your familiar space and walk boldly into the unfamiliar so that blessings and opportunities can present itself. If it's a game of survival, we're gonna get from where we are to where we try to be. No matter how good you are, no matter how fast you are, no matter how smart you are, no matter how strong you are, there is always someone out there who will be bigger, faster, smarter, or stronger. So what do you do? You can't always control who or what you're up against, but you can always control your effort. You must outwork every single one of those people you're competing with. When you find yourself up against other people and see yourself falling behind, are you the person who gives up and gives in? Are you the person who starts making excuses for why you're not doing as much as you could? Are you the person who finds it a reason to start doing things you're not supposed to? Taking breaks? Slacking off? Sleeping in? Eating like crap? Or are you the one who sees opportunity? 
The opportunity to get ahead of everyone else. The opportunity to work harder and perform better when it's game time. The opportunity to improve yourself and hold yourself accountable to what you know you can achieve if you really tried your hardest. In the shadows and darkness, when most people are still in bed or have gone home already, where you fight to become the best version of yourself every damn day. It's that process of pushing yourself to perform better. That's what stretches you to reach higher and higher levels. You don't become number one by taking it easy. You become number one by pushing yourself to the outer limits of your capabilities. It's these quiet, unseen moments that legends are made. You're not there to participate. You're there to f***ing dominate. You gotta refuse to accept that you are what you are and that what your life is like now is what you're doomed to be forever. No, you fight. You scratch and claw every day to improve. Just a little bit. Weeding out all those weaknesses you have sneaking around in your brain. You weed those out with discipline, forcing yourself to execute on your mission for the day. Doing those hard things you have resistance from doing. And as you shut down those weaknesses, as you continue to prune out all the fickle feelings of laziness, you are literally building mental strength. You become tougher through completion. When you get hard stuff done, it builds your belief in your vision. It builds belief in your company. It builds belief in your ideas. It builds belief in yourself. So while most people are sitting around waiting for change, making all these amazing plans for how to revolutionize their lives and become better, you get your up and get to work. Plans don't change people. Action changes people. So make movement. Move forward every day of your life. If they make 10 sales, you make 20. If they work eight hours, you work 10. Whatever they do, I need you to do just a little more because when you add up all those extra bits of effort, day after day after day, that's gonna make the difference between winning and losing. When others start slacking off, making excuses, you see a golden opportunity. It's your chance to double down, to push harder when everyone else is easing up. Every setback, every obstacle is a chance to show what you're made of. It's a chance to toughen up, to hone your skills, to rise above the bullshit. You might not control the raw talent, but you sure as hell control the effort. It's about grinding harder, pushing further, sweating more. It's about turning every damn ounce of your being into a relentless pursuit of excellence. You become the nightmare of everyone in your field because while they're resting on their laurels, you're out there, grinding, improving, outworking every single one of them. You don't just aim to keep up. You aim to leave them all in dust. I'm dominate. When I die, you ain't gonna forget my name. I dominate this doggone thing. I dominate. Where I go, stuff happen. I dominate. If you gonna win, you just can't play this game. Cause there are other teams that wanna do exactly what you gotta do. So what you gotta do in practice is dominate in practice. Some of y'all, that's your problem. You think that you can dominate when the lights come on. If you can't dominate in practice, you can't dominate when the lights come on. I get up every morning at three o'clock. I dominate at three o'clock in the morning. I dominate when everybody sleep. I dominate at four in the morning, six in the morning. Why? Cause y'all just getting up. I dominate in the dark. I dominate when nobody sees me. Cause you just gotta get there before the genius get there. They ain't waking up to eight. So if you get up at three, you ain't gotta be smarter than them. You just gotta be quicker than them. You just gotta be faster than them. You just gotta get to the spot before they get to the spots. You ain't gotta be them. You ain't gotta be on their level. You don't have to be as smart. You don't have to become them. You can stay you, but you gotta get there before they get there if you gonna stay you. Are we the underdogs? Good! That's where legends rise. They overlook us, we overperform. They doubt us, we outdo. We keep moving, we keep pushing, unstoppable. Let's call our names right here and right now. I guarantee you, when I line up and they line up, I want what all other men want. 
But when the challenge hits, when the opposition hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want a little bit more than they want it. And if you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm gonna destroy you. And so that's how I conquer, and that's how nobody has ever beaten me yet. Like when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. I need you to eat, sleep, breathe, dominate. We're not playing to the level of our competition no more. You're gonna look at film in a way they don't look at film. You're gonna practice in a way they don't practice. Listening to coach, paying attention, being locked in and focused. Everything you do is gonna be in a way that nobody else does. You can't win it if you can't see it. You gotta see each one. You gotta see yourself winning in practice. You gotta see yourself winning the game. The championship, you gotta see yourself. Wake up every single day. I was here before I was here. I was in this spot right here. I was talking for right here. I envisioned it. I saw it already. But I see it before it happens. Discipline means that you dominate when you feel like it and you dominate when you don't feel like it. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Those are the things that make up success and that's discipline. You have to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know it needs to be done. Chain hard. Push limits, learn every single day. That's our backbone. That's our hustle. This is our turn. Our unwavering will. Every tackle, every move is for something bigger. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Embrace the process, trust the process, but most importantly, you gotta respect the process. Talent would never supersede it. If we respect it the way we say we respect it, if we love it the way we say we love it, if we cherish it the way we say we cherish it, every single day should be nothing less than excellence. You might not always be your best, but you can always bring me your best. It's about outworking, outlasting, and outperforming. Not just others, but your past self. It's about the relentless pursuit of excellence, the unyielding discipline, and the unstoppable force of taking action every single day. Most people, ladies and gentlemen, are stoppable. Most people, all you have to do is tell them no. All you have to do is make it inconvenient for them. All you have to do is throw some issues and challenges their way, and they give up. They throw in the towel. They surrender. See, those people don't realize that it goes with the territory, that when you want to grow, when you want to achieve, when you want to experience more, all hell will break loose. Everything that can happen will happen. It's one thing to believe when you've got money in your pocket it's one thing to believe when your marriage is working out and you've got your health. It's easy to believe then. But it's another thing when you get that diagnosis that says you're not going to be around much longer. When you lose your job, when someone you thought you'd be with for the rest of your life says, no, we can't do this anymore. That's when you have to dig deep. That's when you got to find something within you that won't be denied. There is something about you, there is a power within you that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself and declare, I am going to do it. You gotta get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I'm not gonna live like this anymore. No, there's gotta be more for me. You gotta draw the line. You gotta say enough is enough and I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Don't go through life feeling like you're powerless. Victims are people that are powerless. You're not powerless. You're not a victim. You are powerful. In the chaos is an opportunity. If you can learn to harness the pain you're going through, you can rise to the challenge and refuse to allow the chaos around you to determine the conqueror within you. Resisting the toe to go down and standing fiercely in spite of the opposition and saying, I'm going to do it anyway, but you don't know what's happened to me. It doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I could become upset, nervous, tense about it, weak about it, or I could say, it's okay, I'm going to make it happen. You can allow it to destroy you or you can allow it to build you up. You have the power to do that. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. 
Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Courageously hold on to your dream and don't lose enthusiasm. You gotta be out of your mind to believe in spite of these numbers, you can still make it. You gotta be crazy. Yes, you must be crazy. The crazy people are the only ones who change the world and do the impossible. You gotta believe in your heart of hearts that in spite of the pain you're feeling, you can still come back again. It doesn't matter how many times I fail. I'm gonna courageously pursue it. I don't care what people say. I don't care what they think. This is something that I want that gives my life meaning and value. You've got to learn how not to give up and how not to give in. And you've got to understand that greatness is within you and you've got to pull it out. When life's putting the pressure on you, you have to learn to bolt every escape hatch closed in your mind and don't allow yourself a way out. You've got to find a way or make a way. It's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, it's okay to take a break, but quitting should never be an option. The weakness is in your mind, out to worry you to death out to stress you to death, out to break you down, out to make you quit, out to make you think that you can't get up, out to make you give up on your dream. The war takes place in your own head. It's not in your savings account. It's not in your job. The fight that you've got to fight is in your mind. And if you can get it out of your head, you can get it out of your job. You can get it out of your finances. You can get all the self-pitying and victimizing thoughts out of your entire life. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. This is just a chapter. Don't like how you feel right now? It's okay. It's just a chapter. Why are you up all night, stressed, worried, and weeping over one chapter in your life? This isn't the end of your story. The last chapter of your life hasn't been written yet. You still have more to go. You can still turn things around. And it doesn't matter what happened yesterday or the day before. What matters is what are you doing right now to make your life better? What steps are you taking right now to improve yourself and your situation? We can't control what has happened, but we can control what we do now. You have full control over yourself and your ability to work on yourself and get better at whatever you're doing. The difficulties you're facing right now aren't there to stop you from living your dream. They're there to push you onto another level. They will help make you into the person you want to be. Don't run away from the hardship like most people do. Step toward it, face it head on, and be willing to wrestle with it to get what you want. This world is always gonna give you scars, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Many people try to hide their scars. No, you should wear those scars as a badge of honor. They show what you've overcame, what you've faced and beaten, because only the toughest people make it through to the other side where success is. And you are tough. You are cut from a different cloth. And you gotta see yourself capable and worthy of living a life of greatness, a life of peace. Say to yourself, I'm gonna do it, I'm coming out of this. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know what I'm gonna have to go through. I don't know what I'm gonna lose along the way, but I am going to make it through this. I've been broke, busted, and disgusted, but I still believe that I am coming out of this mess. No matter what it takes, I'm going to do it. What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. Take ownership. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Take ownership of your mistakes. 
take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You'll never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. It might be here, two, three, four, before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're gonna play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different, you walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change.